Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Station Ears. Um, this is likely to be my 100th YouTube video. I don't know how much I get to 100, but I, I have gotten there <laughs> quite quickly, actually. Um, I say quite quickly. I started the channel back in 2021, but I laid dormant for two years. So yeah, um, I've done quite a few videos recently. Most of them about Station Ears, by the looks of it. Um, so yeah, this is my 100th video when, when I upload it. So, um, yeah, thanks for being here with me. Um, I've done a quite a bit more work since um, my last video. You don't want to see me doing all the laborious stuff. So I've actually um, pushed my base out, a couple that way and one that way, which I previously stated I was going to do. I've done that now. I haven't opened that up yet, so it's still this sealed room. And um, what else have I done? Uh, can we see from here? You can see there's uh, another couple of solar panels there. That caused me a bit of a problem about trying to get the um, the, 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 the network connection in. I'm going to change it again, I think. Yeah, I'll probably do it offline. I don't like the way I've done it, but I'm probably going to have to change it again. Um, but, but I'll do that offline. As long as I work in, that's the main thing. And here's my little solar panel. How much? 79%. 41 watts. Charging up back. What's making all that noise? You. Yes, you. And you. You can probably go for swell now. There we go, don't need you on. Um, ooh, we're redlining, so I don't want to put any more ice in, ice in there. What, you're at 10 kPa, that's okay. Temperature in here is 26, pressure is 82, that's good. Oh yeah, something else I did, uh, which I previously mentioned I was going to do, is put a roller door in here just to hide my gubbins. Um, I've also been around, run around and painted everything white. Um, well, not everything, but quite a bit of it white. I don't know if I've painted all these walls white yet. Don't these ones? No. So there we go. Um, I think that's all the walls. Yeah, look, looks a bit clinic clinical in here. I might change it a different colour. And I put some more, I put another vent in. And I put some more roof tiles in just to brighten the place up. Um, I will be putting down something on the floor when I get round to it. Um, I just haven't done that yet. Um, I'm still going to be needing access to cables. So in this video what I want to touch on is how to start creating basic cooked foods. The the baked potato is a very very basic cooked food um, but there are other cooked foods you can make like tin soup. I'll show you how to make that. So one other thing I did was I moved my fridge from there over to there. I was having problems getting into the fridge when it was here. Oh hush. I was having problems getting into the fridge when it was here. So I moved it over there. It makes kind of more sense because I can just harvest and dump stuff straight in the fridge. Talking of which, how are we doing? One seed potato, uh, two potatoes, two potatoes. Um, let's put that white away for the moment. Uh, let's just harvest these potatoes. It's always good to have a stock of potatoes. They're an easy staple food. So this is why I put it here. Now I have... 13 potatoes and oh 19 potatoes um they don't all go after that let me just check something i want to check that they don't all go off at once um split one oh, that's 13 that's still 13 it looks like they do i better keep an eye on that then um Actually, yeah, I'll leave a seed in there for now. No, I'll not. I want to plant some potatoes. That's what I want to do. Okay, let's plant. Three potatoes and grow some more. Right, now I'll close that. How are we doing on the corn? Three corn, two corn, three corn. Um, okay, let's just harvest that up. Uh, we need the corn to make soup. And we need to have enough of it. And uh, where's the rest of the corn there? So that now gives me 14 corn, that's good. Um, I think I've got some more corn seeds over here, have I got enough? No I haven't. I don't have any corn seeds. So I'm going to have to use these corn. Maybe I picked them a little bit too early. Ooh, climb in the fridge. There we go. Now we'll put the potato seeds over here. Just to keep things together. Um, I need to move this um, so I can make more space, but to do that I need to open out my base. So 
unless anything else is urgently ready they're growing uh or fruiting oh there's rice there i can sort that later and how are we doing with the fern that's not quite there yet um, okay so let's do the difficult bit how are still potato seeds on me i thought put them in here oh max 10 stack ah okay So I can stick them there. Right, yeah, crowbar on a hand. Let's um, go and open up our base a bit. Let's close that. So that's the gas rushing from here into here. This is all sealed, so... Oh, oh. Oh, I have to drop the temperature down quite a bit. So let's just dump some oxide and some nitrice. That'll bring a temperature, uh, take a temperature down, but bring the pressure up. Okay, there we go. Now let's take that. That's a big area I've just opened up. It's probably double the volume of my base. That's why. How are we doing in here? Yeah, not okay. I'll not kill the plants. He says openly. Right, glass. Let's take this glass out. Don't need any of this in here. Except for you. I'm going to leave you in there. Just a little... Um, bathing area. So I'm going to... Uh, uh, uh. No, I don't want to do that. You go back in there. Thank you. Paint you white. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Right. So now that's all the glass out. I now need... Have you got a battery in you? Yes, you do. I need you to... No, I don't. I still need my... Crowbar. See how much you can do. Oh, 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 oh. All these will be plastic now. Because these are composites. Let's take this out, this out, this out. And this out. Okay. And then... Now the... Um, I know I've got my oxygen production right in the way there. Um, haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with that yet. Uh, you're there, you're actually iron frames. So, okay. So, yeah, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with this yet. Because I am. I'm probably going to leave it here for the time being, because I'm just going to push out more this way. I'm going to push right the way out to that frame there at some point. So I'll just leave that there for now. It's a bit in the way, but I can get around it easy enough. Uh, you can go there. He can go here. And again, for those who don't know, if you want to play something specific, just pop your hand, press T, and then you get the ghost of it. And then just press the left mouse button to place it. Swap those over. And now we've got a bit of a big area. Um, I would like to move that bottle out of the way. It's just sort of half in and half out of the wall at the minute. I might move that over here um, at some point. But first, I want to move this. Um, did I make some more lockers? Locker kits three. Yes, I did. So let's build another locker here. Make sure I've got it the right way. That way. Um, and you can go in there. And then you, easiest way to do this is just um, drill in hand, take it apart. <laughs> and it just dumps everything on the floor. <laughs> Not the most elegant way of doing it, but it works. And then you, I think I'm going to put... Okay, make sure I've got it the right way. 
just over here, out the way. Right. Quite a bit of glass there. Uh, I can go with that. That is iron frames. Can go with that. While I'm here, to just dump this. I'm probably not going to have enough for everything in this locker, but that's all right. I'll sort it out. I've got the other locker there. I've just set up so. Move you up there, see so out the way. And I mustn't forget I've got that as well. So. Um, so one of the changes that's just come out is around uh, this um, radar scanner, the ore scanner. Um, it's no longer really going to be used. I think I've taken it out of the game. Um, they have changed it so the tablet, uh, this one, um, with the ore scanner in it, funny off that one there, um, can scan now for the ores. Previously, you used to have to put that down and ping it, and it, it was just a pain in the bum, quite frankly. I never bothered using it in the end. Um, so they've actually stopped that now. They, they've changed it. Oh, there's still some bits here. What's that down there? Nothing. Yes, there is. There's a tablet there. Keep that. My pill. And my... I guess everything, isn't it? Looks like it. Yeah, okay. Um, one thing I do want, if I've got it here... Table kit? No, where did I put my table kit? Is it in there? It's in there. Okay, let's just dump some of this. In. So you can go with that. These bits can go down here. I'll keep the ore scanner on me for a moment because uh, I'm going to show you that working if I can get it working. Uh, just dump all these bits in here. I don't need them on me. That's a spare spanner. Don't ask me why I have a spare spanner. You just always do have a spare spanner. Um, water can go near the one. That can come down. That can go near the one. There. I think that's it for that one. And just because this one's a bit close to the food, I'm just going to use it for storing uh, bits of food and whatever in it. Oh, and seeds. There we go. So, how's our temperature doing? 24, 64, yeah, we're okay. We're doing quite well. How are you doing? Minus 92, that's okay. It's because it's warm the place up, it's sucking heat out of there. But as we're hitting 26, it'll stop. Um, okay, so next thing is I want a table. I want to place my table just here. So I need that, and I need some cable, which I don't have. Heavy cable? No, I don't want heavy cable. Normal cable. There we go. And just plug that into there so that turns on and off. Right. Next, I need a um, tin machine. Uh, there's two items I need. There's one for extracting the oil, and there's one for making the tin to soup. I need to build them outside, so I'll go and do that now. Okay, so now what you need is a basic packing machine and a reagent machine. Uh, both of those are made on the... You know, let me just close that while I'm here. I don't need that open. Actually, I'm going to, actually, when I think about it. Swap you for a big battery. And then close you. Don't need it open. So sorry, yeah, the reagent machine and the packing machine are both made. Oh, turn that off. I had that turned on um, to push gas back into my room, in my building, to get the gas pressure up, and also to bring in carbon dioxide. So while I was working, the plants used up all the carbon dioxide in the room, 
and if it drops below about 1% to start to die. So I need to get some calm dioxide back in there, and that's something I'm going to have to set up soon as well, a just an automatic calm dioxide machine and um, over pressure protection. Got plenty of power, um, so right, reagent, reagent printer, set that going. I want to print one of those. Let's just quickly have a look, see how our other battery's doing. Oh, that one's nearly flat, you see, so... Okay. I might have to set something up just to display what the combined power is. There's our reagent machine, good timing. Next we need the basic packing machine. That shouldn't take long to print. Turn you off. Close you down, turn you off. And there's our basic packing machine. Okay, let's go back inside and set these up. Um, yeah, that's complaining because oh the the um, pollutant that's complaining because the computer filter is exhausted. I've got a spare one here. Um, waste tank caution. Ninety-eight percent. I'll do. Let me just waste uh, blow my, my waste tank. There we go. Um, now, right, reagent machine. To set it up, press T. Put a place on the bench. Left click to place it. Then use the wrench to attach it. Same as you did with a the microwave. Then the packing machine is exactly the same. Put in your hand, press T to place it. Left click. And then the wrench to attach it to the bench. Now the reagent machine is used to create soy oil, or soy oil, not soy oil. So we've got some soybeans here. Let's just break out um, half, let's just say 10 of them. Put eight back in here. And we will take the corn. I need five corn. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And the rest can go back. You can use rice, I've got quite a bit of rice, 27 rice there, to make rice pudding, but there's an extra step involved. Well, yeah, there's not really. There is, but there isn't. You have to put three rice in here to get one rice for the rice pudding. Um, right, reagent. Let's do the reagent first. So for the reagent, we put the soya beans in the top there, turn it on, turn on the bench, that helps. Once it's finished, open that, and there's our 10 soy oil. Set a backpack, just close that. Now before we can make our soup, if we go to um, corn soup, it takes cooked corn, and the way to cook the corn, at this point anyway, is to stick one in the microwave and zap it. And that's it, you've got to do that five times, so quickly do that. I'm also going to need some cans, which I've got... Oh my, which ready? Um, here. I only need one can. So let's split one off. I'll hold on to the other one for now. But go back, get a cooked corn. So, to use the packing machine, you put everything in the top here, so... One, two, three, four, five corn. One can. And one lot of oil. And you can see in the right hand there, steel one, oil one, corn five. You then pull down the handle and turn it on. Tell you what. Let's turn the bench on first, then pull down the handle and turn it on. Once 
when it finishes, lift up, and now we've got a uh, full tin of corn soup. That can go in our cupboard. That's got another can somewhere. What do I do with the other can? Is it in my belt? No. Oh, I don't know what I did with that. I did have another can of soup somewhere. Oh, put it in there. There it is, look, see? Up there. So I'll stick the canned foods up the top. So that's how you do it with um, corn. You can do it with rice, like I said. So let's... We need 15 rice. So... Uh, spit off... And two extras. Take and go back in there. And now it's similar, except you put three rice in. Cook that. That turns into one cooked rice. You've got to do that five times. And there's our five rice. And that's the same again. Put them in the top. One soy oil, one can. Pull the handle down, turn it on. And this time we should get rice pudding, I believe it is. It stops, and there we go, rice pudding. And that can go over here as well. Um, if you look at the um, basic packer, it shows you what can be made in it. So manufacturers, canned condensed milk, french fries, never heard of con canned french fries, uh, powdered eggs, corn soup, tomato soup, we haven't got any tomatoes, we haven't got any eggs. Uh, either ma'am, I've no, doubt, no idea what that one is. Let's have a look, what do you need for that one? Cooked soybean, okay, so that one just made from soybean. Go back. Uh, mushrooms, again, it all requires a bit of oil. Eight mushrooms though. Um, rice pudding. We've just been through um, pumpkin soup, which we can't do because I'm going to pumpkins because I kill them all. Um, condensed milk, you need milk, which we haven't got. Um, French fries. One baked potato. Well, that's a new one. I didn't know that one. One baked potato, one can. Okay, you know what? Let's do a little experiment. We need some more cans, so is there any cans any iron in there? Yeah, let's just make four or five of these. There we go. Turn that off. Turn that off. That's off, that's off. Turn that off. We have a load of potatoes, so that's all I've eaten potatoes, so let's not bother with that one. Let's just use that one. Um. Let's consume it, get rid of it. There we go, it's gone. Uh, close the lock. How many potatoes do we have? 16. Let's just break a couple out. And we'll take some of those. I think I wanted five of those. Oh, I don't want to throw it on the floor. I think it was five of them. Right. So, one big potato. I know they've been adding foods and things to the game. So let's just quickly bake up three baked potatoes. There we go. 
goes with three baked potatoes. Now, what did it need for the... Um, Edamam, 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 I don't know what you call it. Oh, 15 cooked soya bean, okay. How do you get cooked soya bean? So, five soya bean to make one cooked soya so that's a lot. So, I'll not bother with the soya bean one. You need a lot of soya beans to do that. So, yeah, we'll just put those back for now. But we can make the french fries, so one can. One oil, one baked potato, french fries. You know, I know you knew there was a thing. Not cooked french fries, and tin french fries anyway. Um, potato, oil, can, close, and on. So this is making this more food now, so we're getting there with the food. We're not going to starve anymore. As long as I keep the plants alive, which I should be able to now. Um, yeah, I've done that. Um, we should be fine. We should have more than enough food. Each of these foods has different nutritional values. So, um, you see, they provide 120 nutrition from the, through the uh, French fries. The canned rice is 100. The soup is 190, and the tomato soup, because I've drunk some of it already, is 121. So yeah, so that's how you make food, guys. A very basic way of making cooked food and canning it. Um, hopefully that was helpful. And hopefully you learned something from it. Um, that's it for now, guys. And I'll catch you next time. It's Dragonfly Gamer wishing you good night.